In this video, we're gonna cover everything you need to know about the new scale set agents in Azure Pipelines and how to use them to make your build more flexible and elastic. So let's dive into it. Hi everybody, welcome back to Coded Dave, where we talk about DevOps, especially with GitHub and Azure DevOps. So, scale set agents in pipelines. As the name says, those are agents that can be installed in Azure Virtual Machine Scale Set, or VMSS, and that you can use to make your build faster, more elastic, and more flexible because they can be scaled horizontally automatically. But Dave, I hear you asking, why would I bother installing self-hosted agents on VMSS rather than using the Azure DevOps hosted agents that are already provided? Can't I achieve the same things using them? Well, the answers to these questions are not that straightforward. Let me explain. First of all, unlike the Microsoft hosted agents you can use in Azure DevOps, you have full control on the size and the image of your agents. Because when you use the Azure DevOps hosted agents, you stick with what Microsoft uh, offers to you, right? And what if you need more resources, like more CPU power or RAM for the operations you have to perform? Or what if you need to install some software or library in order to build your application? On the hosted agents, you can't quite do that, can you? And beside that, even if you're okay with hosted agents or in what they offer, there are, there are situations in which you may not be able to use them because of the environments you operate in. Perhaps you depend on server or services that are in private networks and therefore not accessible from internet because remember that the Microsoft hosted agents are basically internet exposed. Or yet you may want to restrict network connectivity of agents machines and allow them to reach only approved sites or services. In all of these scenarios and many more, what you could do is install the normal self-hosted agents and then scale them manually depending on your need. But as we will see in a minute, the scale set agents are a much, much better solution. Of course, this is a better solution if you are already on Azure or at least you have access to an Azure subscription where you can create your VMSS. But let me know in the comment section below if you're using any other cloud platform like GCP or AWS, for example, and you would like to know how to scale automatically your agents in those platforms as well. All right, let's see now how to set the scale set agents up. And of course, the first thing we need to do is to create a VMSS cluster that pipelines can use. To create your scale set in Azure, you can use two approaches. You can use the Azure CLI or do it from the UI. I prefer doing it from the CLI because it allows me more control. And you can find this very command in the official Microsoft documentation, and you can find the link in the video description. So to create a VMSS from the CLI and to do it properly so pipelines can use it, first of all, you need to disable the over provisioning. And this is the setting that would create more VMs that you actually need to make the process complete faster, basically. So this must be disabled. And also the upgrade policy mode must be set to manual. You can like in this case, not use any load balancer because Azure Pipelines doesn't really require a load balancer to route the jobs to the agents in the scale set agent pool. However, if you want to configure a load balancer anyway, that's one of the ways to get an IP address for your scale set agents. So you can use that address for, for example, firewalls rules. The last thing is that you can set the instance count to two. This is not strictly necessary because Azure Pipelines will anyway delete those two VMs later and create new ones when we create the Azure pool. But it will give you an opportunity to verify that the scale set is fully functional before you create an Azure pool in Azure DevOps. So let's go ahead and kick this off. Or if you don't want to use the CLI, you can do it through the UI as well, as I mentioned. But again, you need to be sure that in the scaling section, the scaling policy is set to manual and then in the management, you need to make sure that the upgrade policy is manual as well. And if we scroll down, you need to make sure that the over provisioning is disabled as we've seen before in the CLI. If you do that, and then you continue with the wizard, you'll be able to create a scale set that works as an agent pool of Azure pipelines. In my example, I've created the cluster with the standard image. But of course, in a real situation, you probably want to have installed your own image or at least all the tools you need for your builds and release. But good news, because this is just a normal VMSS, so it means that you can use any image you want or may have already created for other uses. And the same, of course, is true for updating your images. 
you can use the usual commands and processes to update your OS images, for example, for the cluster. And then whenever you create a new agent, or even when the scales that agent scale, then all the new agents machines will be created using the new image with all the updated tools and so on and so forth. And by the way, let me know in the comment section below if you want me to create a new video explaining how to use the virtual machine scale set and how to operate them. All right, now that we have the scale set cluster properly set, let's see how we can create an agent pool in Azure DevOps for using it. But before we do that, I would really appreciate if you can like this video so also it can be spread to more viewers and they can benefit from it as well. This time we are in the Azure DevOps portal and we go to project settings. Uh, we can do this also from the organization settings, by the way. After that, we go to agent pools. And here we see that I only have the Azure Pipelines agent pool, which is the pool that contain the Microsoft hosted agents. I click on add pool and I want to create a new pool. So I select new and then I select Azure Virtual Machine Scale Set. In here, I need to select the Azure subscription that I've added before as a service principle. And in here, automatically populated, I have my list of VMSS clusters. And this is the one I just created. I give it a name, let's call it VMSSS agents. And then I have a few options that I can change. First of all, I have this automatically tear down virtual machines after every use. And this is to simulate basically what the hosted agents do in which you start from fresh every single time you kick off a build or a release. You can then specify a maximum number of VMs in the scale set. If you don't want to go too high or to spend too much and so on and so forth, you can set a limit of VMs here. And same thing is if you want to set the number of agents to keep on standby. And this is basically how many agents you allow to do basically nothing in the virtual machine scale set before the Azure Pipelines NG tears down those VMs. And of course, we also have a delay in minutes before deleting access idle agents because you don't want to remove an agent as soon as it finished processing something because perhaps there are other jobs in queue that need to be processed. And also more jobs can come into the queue in just a few minutes. So you want to be sure you have uh, enough time to manage all of situations. So let's set those parameters. And when you're done, you can create the pool. And here we have our agent pool just added to the list. Few notes here. To properly configure an agent pool for scale set in Azure DevOps, you would need to have either the owner or the user access administrator permissions in the selected Azure subscriptions. If you have one of those permissions, but you still face errors, uh, it could be due to the fact that you're either a guest in your AAD or you don't have permissions to add applications to your AAD managed applications. In either cases, I would encourage you to talk with your AAD admin to try and solve that. Second thing, the only service connection uh, possible right now and that works is the ARM connection with the service principal key. If you try to use an ARM connection with either a certificate or a managed identity, you will see an error like this and the process will fail. All right, let's see now how to use an agent from the agent pool we've just created in our pipelines. Using a scale set agent pool is similar to any other agent pool. You can use it in classic build, release, or YAML pipelines and user permissions, pipeline permissions, approvals, and all the other checks work the same way as in any other agent pool. Okay, last thing I wanna show you is how Azure Pipelines manage and scale the agents in the pool. But first, some theory. Azure Pipeline samples the state of your agents and virtual machines in the scale set every five minutes. And the decision of scaling in or out is based on the number of idle agents at that moment. And fairly enough, an agent is considered idle if it's online and is not running a job. When needed, Azure Pipelines perform a scale out operation, so add more agents and VMs, when either of these two conditions apply. First one is that the number of idle agents is lower than the number of standby agents you specify. And the second one is that there are pipeline jobs waiting in the queue and no agent is in the idle state. If either one of these conditions are met, Azure Pipelines grow the number of VMs in the scale set gradually and incrementally. Talking about scaling in instead, Azure Pipelines scale in and remove the agents whenever the number of idle agents exceed the standby count for 30 minutes. And this is of course configurable using the delay in minutes before the letting access idle agents setting. Let's see this in practice. So here we are in my VMSS agents pool. And as you can see, I have two agents in here. Let's go to pipelines. And I've created a very simple pipeline to showcase the scaling. If we take a look at it, you can see I have six jobs all running in parallel. And as we've seen before, of course, they run on that agent pool. 
So let's try to run this and see what happens. As you can see, all the six jobs are queued, and in a second we should see them picked up by Azure Pipelines. And in fact, we see the two are running, and the other one are still queued because they are waiting for the agents to be ready. And in fact, now after a few minutes, we can see that other jobs are in a running state. So let's go back to our project settings, agent pools, and in the agent pool. And if we go to agents, we can see that now we have four agents running because Azure Pipelines has assessed the cluster and determined that they need more agents to be able to run all the jobs that were in the queue. And in fact, the jobs are now running. Final notes now. At the time of recording, if you create your VMSS using Linux for scaled agents, then only Ubuntu is supported. If you use Red Hat or Debian, then it will not work. And if you're using Windows 10 clients for it, then remember that the pipeline agent doesn't support running as local user and therefore it cannot interact with the UI then it will run as a local service instead. All right, I think that's it for today. Let me know in the comment section below what you're using or going to use these scale set agents for and what problems they solve for you. Or VMSSS, eh? VMSSS. All right, let's see now how to scale up, scale up. You would need to have the ow owner. Also, you may want to check this video over here in which I explain you how to containerize the Azure Pipeline uh, agents for even greater flexibility. But that's it for me. Thanks so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed it. Hit the like button below, subscribe if you haven't already, and I see you in the next video here at Coded Dave.